Am I the asshole for making my son walk the dog? Throw away account and fake names because my wife is also on Reddit. And sorry for the long post. My wife, 39 female, and I, 42 male, have three sons, Alex, 15, Dylan, 11, and Jake, 8. When I was a kid I always wanted a dog but my parents said no. I never got the chance to get one during my 20s but recently my interest in owning one was sparked again so I asked my family what they thought about getting a dog. My wife wasn't enthusiastic about it but she relented after a few weeks of me asking. Alex and Jake were excited to get one but Dylan was immediately opposed to the idea. Dylan was always different than my other sons, he never had an interest in sports and was always more subdued than his brothers which has always made it hard for me to connect with him. He remained opposed to the idea of getting a dog but me and my other sons managed to wear him down until he finally relented. However, he said that if we did get a dog, he wasn't going to be interacting with it or taking care of it, that would be completely on me and his brothers. I found this ridiculous but I agreed in the moment hoping he would change his mind after meeting the dog. The problem is he hasn't changed his mind yet. We've had Zeus for 7 months now and Dylan has not warmed up to him in the slightest. He doesn't play with the dog, he doesn't cuddle with him, he doesn't let Zeus into his room because he destroys stuff, and whenever he is near the dog he just ignores him. I find this completely ridiculous. Zeus loves Dylan, he follows him around whenever he sees him and jumps on him to get his attention and play but Dylan just isn't receptive to it. To change this, I told Dylan last week that he would be in charge of walking the dog every day after school. Dylan straight up refused and has shut down the conversation every time I bring it up. It's been a week and he hasn't walked the dog once. In my frustration, I told him that if he didn't start listening then I wouldn't allow him to go to the comic book store anymore and he freaked and told my wife. Now, my wife is upset with me, claiming that I knew what I was getting into with this and I knew that Dylan wouldn't be playing with the dog but his intolerance of the dog is weird and I refuse to entertain it any longer. My wife has been short with me ever since that conversation and Dylan is cold with me as well. Alex is now agreeing with his mother which is making me have second thoughts. So Reddit, am I the asshole? You are the asshole so, you are three people who want a dog and could care of the dog, but your son who didn't want the dog has to even though you told him, he wouldn't have to. What you teach your son. You are a liar, it is okay to not take care of own responsibilities, you punish him intentionally because he isn't you edit, thank you for the awards. I appreciate it. But please stop. This comment isn't genuine or anything great. Jumping on a top comment to ask one. Why did original poster ask his sons if he could have a dog? Like if the wife said okay, then, well, that's that. 2. Why is original poster so weird about his son interacting with the dog? Like there are multiple other people to take care of the dog. 1. Seems his wife didn't just say okay. She relented after a few weeks of original poster asking for a dog. 2. Original poster makes it clear he feels uncomfortable with Dylan not fitting his view of how a boy should act which in a lot of people's minds means a childhood dog for boys. 3. I'm not okay with how original poster lets Zeus act around Dylan. The dog follows Dylan around and jumps on Dylan. Instead of original poster training the dog to behave, original poster thinks this is evidence that the dog loves Dylan. No this is evidence that original poster doesn't know how to keep their dog away from people who don't like dogs. I feel so bad for Dylan. It is clear that Dylan is not original poster's ideal for a son, and therefore gets poor treatment. It is really sad. Zeus gets more consideration than Dylan. Dylan. I won't interact with the dog. Original poster buys the dog Dylan. Doesn't interact with the dog. Op. By the way, you are the asshole. But the meme says they all turn around eventually, you are the asshole. Let me get this straight. 1. Your son doesn't like sports so it's hard for you to connect with him. 2. He didn't want a dog but you got one anyway and when he didn't change his mind you punished him 3. The one hobby you say he does like, comics, you want to ban him from until he shows interest in your hobby. Why do you go so far out of your way to make it clear you have no interest in getting to know your son, you just want to change him into someone who you have things in common with? Why not spend some time trying to learn about his interests instead of forcing yours on him? Do you really think if you turn the dog into a punishment that will make him not resent the dog? You are the asshole if that wasn't obvious. 4. The dog jumps on people and destroys things. That dog is improperly trained and original poster is minimizing that. If original poster and his other two sons put some time and effort into actually training the dog Dylan might be a bit more receptive to it. Well, I wouldn't go blaming the boys, they're just following dad's example on how to treat the dog. It's on original poster to teach them how to train the dog, which is probably not going to happen since original poster seems like the kind of dog owner that thinks that their untrained dog is a perfect angel even as they're in the middle of destroying something. I just you are the asshole. Big time. Poor Dylan. Seven years in counting, wanna bet? Alex, the heir, the pride and joy with the same likes as you. Dylan, the spare, can't click with you because you do not understand him. Jake, the baby, again someone you can click with. Dylan's situation sounds like the typical overlooked middle child. He is his own person, has not to be your carbon copy to show the world your manliness, your prowess between the sheets. You wore your wife down with weeks of nagging. Then you set your sights on your defenseless child. He said no, you pressured him, used your position as an authority person to wear him down saying yes to get a dog. 
He warned you, your dog, not his problem. And what are you doing now? Again stomping over him, trampling his boundaries into the dust just because again, he isn't a carbon copy of you? Is his own person? With his own wants and his own needs? In future years, when you browse through social media and see a post that he is engaged but he didn't tell you. When you see wedding photos for a wedding you got no invitation to. The birth, the baptism of, a, grandchild, Ren, you will never see. Then search for this post. Read it. And maybe then you will understand that, no, is a full sentence. But until then, the, lord of the manor, wants a dog, the, lord of the manor, gets a dog after nagging, cajoling, pressuring wife and middle child into agreeing. But now the, lord, is pissed that a forced, yes, is still a, no. And again abuses his authority as a parent to pressure said child into behavior that, lord, deems acceptable. There are people out there who dislikes dogs, who want a gerbil, a cat, a snake. There are people out there who are against getting a pet since they know exactly who will have to care for them, not the owner, no, the care will be placed onto their shoulders if they want it or not. As you are doing now. But guess what? There are people out there who know how to help themselves. To stand up for themselves. How often do you think can you force Dylan to try to bond with Zeus by walking him? To play with him? To care for him? How fast comes the day when you come home from work and get informed that Dylan walked Zeus, as the Lord ordered, but sadly Zeus got away. And is nowhere to be found. And all this just because you can't accept that Dylan is not you. And hash x 200 b. Ada. Thank you kind Redditors for the awards. I finally figured out how to get a notice for them and say thank you via the chat, I hope. In case this doesn't work again, thank you. And please, say a prayer for Dylan, will ya? Not to mention, it wasn't until the eldest child started, siding, with mom and brother that original poster started second guessing himself. The words of his wife and son were not enough. Original poster, you are the asshole. This. Couldn't believe what I was reading. You are the asshole original poster. Your poor wife and child. You are the asshole. Huge. To both the dog and your son. He will end up hating animals thanks to you. Not to mention hating the dad. You are the asshole and you are telling Dylan that you can't be trusted. He relented and agreed under the promise he would have no responsibility and you misled him and are now punishing him for not doing something that you said he didn't have to do in the first place. This is gonna have repercussions beyond the dog if you don't change course, recognize and apologize to your son. This, so true. And hash x 200 b. Original poster, you are the asshole. When someone googles, total asshole, I'm guessing your photo pops up first. You're a manipulative husband and a crappy father who doesn't like it when he can't get his own way. You are the asshole. Not enough information why are you so obsessed with Dylan not being interested in the dog? He's not being mean to it or making your life more difficult by not wanting to be around the dog. Greater than which has always made it hard for me to connect with him because everything needs to be all about you, what you like, on your terms. Don't be surprised if your relationship becomes non-existent when he's able to move out. In a comment he says, because the dog is a family member and everyone needs to chip in, I personally think it is BS to make the kid do most of the work that didn't want the dog. It is also BS to lie to your children and double BS to not take care of your own pet but make your kids do it. It's not just that Dylan didn't want the dog, in the original post original poster also says Dylan told him he wouldn't help with the dog and original poster agreed, just to get everyone to say yes to a dog. Now original poster's surprised that Dylan hasn't miraculously changed his mind and started helping with the dog and original poster is going back on his word. It seems like he always planned on going back in his word about this. This post makes me so annoyed on behalf of Dylan and the wife. Original poster you are the asshole, edit spelling. It cracks me up when people say, throw away, when one. Nobody knows you so why does that matter? And two, you just explained the whole story. Do you really think your wife won't be able to figure out that it's about your family? You are the asshole. Unfortunately, I'm a dog lover, but the kid straight up told you he didn't want it in the first place and said he wouldn't be helping with it, and you didn't deny him of that right then. So you can't all of a sudden force him to be part of something he told you he had no interest in. $10 says his main is in some NSFW subs and doesn't want anyone snooping on those. Never thought of that, makes so much sense. YTA. Stop fixing your son. He is not broken, he is different from you and that is a good thing. Accept him as he is. The one great piece of parenting advice I ever got when my kids were newborn was, raise the child you have, not the child you thought you were going to have. Or, by implication, the child you hope to have, the child you were when you were young, the child your other kids are, except when you're parenting them, then raise the ones they are, the child you were afraid you might have, the child you had two years ago, or any other variant besides the actual child who's standing in front of you right now. Original poster is refusing to raise Dylan as Dylan is. He's trying to raise Dylan as if he were somebody else, himself when he was little, or his other two kids, or the kid he wanted to have, or some combination. But he's not raising the child he has. You are the asshole. Full stop. Dylan told you he didn't want to take care of or interact with the dog and you agreed. Now you're threatening to take away something he likes doing because, he doesn't interact with the dog? You're ridiculous. Now you know why your parents said no. You wanted the dog you take care of it poor zoo seven months in and you have lost interest in walking him already. Why can't the other two who wanted dog as well walk him? 
I think he's genuinely thinking he need to make him connect with the dog, for some reason. You are the asshole. Information. Have you given someone a pet that person did not want as a present? If the answer is yes, you're beyond the asshole. You are the asshole your kid is not you, he's a whole independent person with his own wants and feelings. He told you he didn't want to interact with the dog. What do you not understand there? Enjoy the dog with your kids who actually like dogs. Of course you are the asshole, you can't even be serious in thinking otherwise. You're a shish tty father too. You wanted the dog, quit skirting your responsibility and walk the dog yourself. All you're doing is building resentment, if that isn't obvious enough for you. Your poor child. You are the asshole tell us you hate your son without saying you hate your son. Yup and Dylan is picking this up subconsciously. He's going to grow up with insecurities he doesn't understand because his father doesn't respect him or his likes and wants. Grow up original poster you are the asshole.